In this world of vitrified rock and volcanic glass, green organic growth stands out like a pig among chickens. I cannot describe the overwhelming feelings of joy as I bring plant life back to this barren wasteland. Not just as a means of sustenance, but also as the symbolic first step along my path of regenesis. Hey guys and welcome to the wonderful world of post Phenem, that horrible wasteland that was left after the, all the big superpowers had their resource war. And of course they sent me to the future to try and fix everything because you know that's the, the way these things work. I know that when we ruin this world through the powers of global warming and such forth, we're going to send our bravest scientists to the future with rockets and cryo sleep and stuff like that to come back and make everything alright. So obviously this mod pack is just taking inspiration from the real world, right? <laughs> anyway, when we left off last time, I'd managed to grow some trees. I'd also grown some crops, but like it looks like we've got one set of crops and a whole lot of weeds. In fact, I see nothing but weeds here. Somewhere in here, we actually had some carrots, but I've got a feeling the weeds have taken over. That's a shame. We'll, we'll have to come and clear all that out. But the thing we were trying to do at the end of last episode, if I bust out my, my quest book here, let's hide under a tree. Uh, not that. We were trying to, well, we were originally trying to do the Farmer's Almanac, but then I realised that this was open. Uh, and this is all about getting a microscope ready so that we can have a journal for all our all our chemical stuff. If, if you're just joining me for this episode, I will quickly explain why we need to keep track of all the chemical stuff. If we come inside my my lovely little hovel, I love this hole, it's so great. Uh, we have these two machines over here. This one is the chemical decomposer. You put things in here, be that rock, food, uh, mob drops, and then you get the constituent elements or, or just random chemicals like, like liocene here out of the stuff that you put in. You can then use the chemical synthesizer to put it back together uh, to make stuff. You'll see here we were trying to make retinol. Well, we had made retinol and we then turned that into a carrot. With that in mind, inside this box, I've got a whole load of like stone and wood and stuff like that. But the thing that I really need, the thing that I really, really need is glass for these concave lenses. Now, I do know that if we come over here, I, I was... Uh, Last episode, getting schooled by Landstrider himself. He was down in my comments telling me that, you know, different things can be done through different methods. And one of the things that he happened to mention was glass. Glass can be made this way. I mean, this, this is a bit expensive. I think what I'd actually like to be making is the glass pane. If we come back over here, you can see it's just six silicon dioxide. The other one was nine. I'm not sure which one is actually more efficient. If I take a moment to stop and do the maths, I probably could figure it out, but I'm not going to do that. There are two ways of making this silicon dioxide. Oh, look. Night time's approaching. Got to be a little bit careful. There are two ways of making silicon dioxide. Either we can break down this gravel and stuff, and I think I might actually have a fair bit of gravel. Yeah, let's, let's try that. Or we could put together things like, I've got some silicon here. We've got a, a whole bunch of oxygen. Uh, but I think the first way we're going to do this is just pump all that in there. Look at that go. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's go back in here. If we just pop one of these across all of this. Booyah, job done. Yeah, that's all we needed. We're going to need a lot more for those concave lenses and stuff. But I think the first thing we're going to do, if I come in here, because I've made the glass already, I think we're going to go on and make the seed analyzer. So let's open this up. I will talk you through the process uh, that I'm going through, uh, and I'll, no, no, it's, there's a Y there, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have started with Analyzer, maybe I should have gone with Seed. <laughs> While I say we're going to talk through the process, I'm actually going to show you how terrible my spelling is, and then we'll go through the process of what's going on here. So we need two sets of planks, three sticks, and a slab of each material. Okay, so we're going to go into my, my box here. Uh, we can make a slab with this, that's definite, uh, and I'm sure if we take two maybe three logs i can't remember how many it's going to need to break down into we can make some slabs uh so let's go in here in fact i've got enough sticks that we don't need to break down anymore so we'll do that and we'll do that so i think it was that one there uh sticks here and here these two on either side and i've not made a slab damn it <laughs> i'm sure you guys face this sort of situation quite a lot i know i do I'm, i find myself doing that sort of thing all the time where i'm like oh just craft all this up oh wait there was one thing i forgot to craft beforehand there we go seed analyzer bam now i would go up and put this 
down up by my crops, but night time has approached, and suddenly I'm scared of night time and stuff like that. So we're going to have to start working on some other things. That's not how you open a chest. This is how you open a chest. We're going to have to start working on some other things, which to me... As we can't get outside to go and get any um, any more sand and stuff. Is that sand or is that limestone? I don't know. As we can't go outside to get any more uh, gravels or things like that, I think we should do some other stuff. I don't want the fertiliser. I'm going to take the energy cell. Fertiliser, I think, is relatively easy to make. I, I, I can't quite remember. Plus, we, we get some anyway. So that's all good. Um... The other thing I wanted to do was start thinking about... Where is it? Storage. Because we've got a lot of stuff. and I, Fair enough, I'd put down this double chest here when I was trying to dig out the holes. This this nice little space. Oh, oh! in fact, I might have something else that I need to do first. Yeah, no, let's do it. So, one of the, the main problems with this game is trying to regulate your body temperature. If you see on the bottom left, I've got to throw my mouse down that way. You're, I've got sort of uh, one that looks like a thirst meter. And then just above that, I've got a uh, temperature meter also known as the thermometer i keep making this mistake in um kerbal space program as well it's, it's called a thermometer um and yeah one of the main problems i've got is trying to keep my my temperature balanced uh, i find myself getting too hot and too cold now these in part heat onto you but when i started putting down torches everywhere like the, these ones here if i get a little bit closer you can see how much my temperature is just kind of shot up there um so we don't want them everywhere that's a dead end. So what we're going to do is build a chisel. Because that chiseled torches don't give off this ridiculous level of light. Or ridiculous level of heat. Is that how you make a chisel? That is how you make a chisel. Awesome. And we should be able to just get that back. Thank you. We should be able to just walk up and have at this. Uh, maybe. Maybe. No. No, we can't. Okay. Well, we're going to have to... Ooh. Ooh, stone brick. Lovely. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll go around and do that at some point. Uh, I don't have a torch on me at the moment, so we'll right-click this and pop one of those in there. Oh, oh wow. Um, oh, that's quite a selection. I think I'm going to go for that one. Yeah, go on then. Let's pop that here. On that. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Going to be making some nice buildings uh, later on in the season, I can tell. Going to, going to go around and do a whole lot of chisel. But that's obviously when we get... Oh, look, there's gravel up there. That's obviously when we get off of this, like, ridiculous, I'm still trying to just sort out my food thing. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time digging up, maybe past the time, uh, and then I will come back to you when we can go and try and find some more silicon dioxide. Because, you know, we've got to make those convex lenses and stuff for the microscope. I don't know, you say you'll do something, and you get all kind of mixed up in, in, in digging holes and getting some some gravel and doing doing all sorts of weird stuff like that we can do this dragon thing can't we brilliant uh and you never actually get around to doing the thing that you say you're gonna do so i apologize about that guys i'm very easily distracted you may have noticed this but here is the storage done that i said we were gonna do we're gonna get a storage upgrade and energy cell i think we're gonna get a storage two upgrade we could get another energy cell but as we're getting one anyway i'm gonna go with that brilliant Boom! Okay, now, for reals this time, I'm going to see you in the morning so we can go and look for some more silicon dioxide. I reckon we could probably just dig up all this uh, this cobble and stuff here, but nah, we're, we're, we're going to look for some stuff out and about, because it's about time we got out and checked out our local area. Oh, wow. What What's some time waiting for morning it's been? So we've got this guy over here, but more importantly, wow, my game, my game. You'll notice that it's quite a little bit way past morning that's because i've been trying to start this particular segment uh, a few times maybe three or four times now over the course of a couple of days like real life uh the problem has been that every time i've got to about this long of recording my game has just frozen up and gone all white and then occasionally it's crashed but most of the time it will just like stay frozen why can't i eat 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 so, yeah, uh, I've been having trouble to the point of where I had to completely uninstall post for them. And then I'll come back in here. And, you know, I was hoping that my quest book would keep the same spot. Thankfully, if we come in here, it has. That could have been all sorts of issues. But what we're supposed to be doing today is exploring around. We don't have long to do exploring because, as I say, most of the day got wasted trying to do stuff here. What I want to do is check out that village over there. Now, I have no idea if we're going to encounter bad guys or not. Um... <clears throat> 
yeah, I, I just don't know what it is. But given the the uh, difficulty of this map so far, or this mod pack, sorry, so far, I should imagine at some point someone's going to come out and have a real popper. So we're going to do a quick swoop round. There is a chest there. I don't think we want to look straight at the chest. Do you see that? See that stuff? Is that a box? A spawner? Something like that? Can we get in there? Oh, that fired my gun. That, that's no good. Okay. So far, so good. Did you see that stuff we just picked up? So far, so good. You know what? I might even... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Faster, faster. Ah, Poo. All right. Well, there's one thing to worry about. Who's over this way? Um, hmm. We got some good stuff. Do you reckon... No, we just pushed it too far. We pushed... There's grass there. What's that? There's real grass. That's not right. That oh oh what's what's this? There's a grass in that box. We shouldn't we shouldn't have grass. That I might even wait until we got silk touch before going to get that. Like grass, grass grass is different. Um, right, I'm not gonna try and get any close to that. I think what we need to do is go around the outside here and just like run past my stuff, <laughs> like full on sprint. Oh look, he's he's still there. You can see him. Look. Uh, up on my map, I mean. So what we're going to have to do is m maybe make a bit of a uh, a detour around, try and pull him off. Oh, jeez, there's two of them. There's many. Uh, well, we got some stuff out of the box, so that was good. I, I was going to go back and, like, bust the box open, but that might be a bad idea. Uh, oh, look, there's a, a death marker there now. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah, no, we're all good. We're all good. Is that a grave? That is a grave. Great. I'll have my stuff back, please. Ah, brilliant. Wonderful. We could get closer, but I don't think we're going to. Well, ah, oh, look at all the stuff that's spawned in. Look at all the stuff that's spawned. Okay, so that was... Ooh, that was looking down this way. This is a nice cave. I don't have a weapon on my bar, so I think we're going to come out of here. Like, the best I've got is my axe. That's that's no good. We're, we're going to wander over here and resort our stuff out. So, the village. That's a bit... bit scary. bit... Oh, look, we've got a cross. Brilliant. Okay, but bit, yeah, bit, bit scary to go in and do stuff with. And night is approaching already. I cannot believe it. I just wanted to look around and see what was uh, elsewhere around here. Uh, let's just have a look around. We've got, we've got some caves and some stuff like that. Not seeing... Oh, look, there's some bees. Not seeing any gravel. Th that's kind of what I'm out here looking for, is a nice gravel bar, because that would be easier to break down than trying to, like, turn all cobble and stuff into silicon and then... Uh, oxides and oh look there we go because we're trying to make silicon dioxide so we can make some glass um, let's pick this out it's going to take a while isn't it we should have made a shovel the shovel is definitely a, a thing that we need now um, perhaps I don't know maybe there's a, a tool in the mod pack that would be better so we're just going to go through and knock all this down as quick as possible it's nowhere near enough it's nowhere near enough where else can we see some, some gravel there's some over there uh, oh we're still halfway through the day I thought we were getting late in the day and we're not lots of things uh, kind of piling out I'm really worried about getting crushed by all this gravel, like with all the, the, the falling new, gra new gravity stuff. But it should be alright. I wonder if it's mine chem that does, not mine chem, environment that does the new gravity. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which mod it comes from. I, I should imagine it's environment. It is the one that likes to make everything like, really awkward for you. Uh, saying about that, what are we doing on our meters? To be honest, everything apart from like a little bit of water is doing absolutely fine. Even our body temperature is right in the middle. And it's on Fahrenheit. Now, I'm sure most of you out there are Americans, and therefore Fahrenheit makes sense to you. But unfortunately, I live in Europe, well, England to be exact, and I, I, can't, I can't figure out Fahrenheit. I don't know what my body temperature is supposed to be in Fahrenheit. Celsius, there we go, brilliant. That's, that's what we want to do. Minimalistic HUD. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's quite nice, but we're not going to. Alright, uh, so we did that. I'm going to carry on digging up some gravel. Uh, I'm basically going to do. Uh, hang on, right, can I. You see this sort of curve around here? I'm going to go around and down and through this water here, and that should take us up to daytime. I'm going to collect up as much of this gravel as I can. Sorry, it should take us up to nighttime, not daytime. And hopefully we'll have enough silicon dioxide to be making some serious glassage afterwards, because, you know, that is what we're after. <laughs>
So guys, whilst I was running around and doing a little bit of digging and stuff, I uh, had a little thought that might mean we have a bit of a trouble. If I come in here and grab all this gravel, and also come down and have a look at the two lenses we need to make. So, this is seven bits of glass, and then we need two of these ten, so that's seventeen bits of glass. Now if we come over here and have a look at what it's going to take to make a real bit of glass, if we pop all these in here... It's actually 16 silicon dioxide. Okay, so 16 times 17 is 272. That is four and a quarter stacks of silicon dioxide. Let me throw this stack of gravel in here and show you why this is actually a serious issue. So we got 23 out of a stack of 64. Uh, that is a tenth of what we need. So I think we're going to need some sort of cobble gen, or at least a gravel generator. Not that we can make a gravel generator, but some sort of cobble generator to get us going here. I mean, I want to dig out all this wall. This wall here, um, all this slice of cobble and stuff, all the way back to this room here. So we can connect it all together and have a nice, nice big chamber to start from. But even that... It's not really going to give me enough silicon to get going with. So yeah, we're going to have an issue there, something to do. Uh, something else that I really need to do is get out there and put my seed analyzer together. Sort out these jungle drawers and stuff. This is why we're going to take all this apart so we can have some nice storage room back there. And uh, the other thing I want to say is I want to apologize for how long it took me to put this episode together. As I was saying, there was uh, a few days of crashing and uninstalling, reinstalling, defragging thousands of gig hard drives. You know, things like that. Stuff that is quite, quite awkward. So I want to, want to make an apology and I'll tell you that I will be trying much harder next time. Oh, yeah, we've got gravel over there. Try, trying much harder over this next week to bring out more stuff. Uh, not daily, but I'm hoping for at least two episodes a week thereabouts, as, you know, this is this is a lot of fun. But anyway, I will see you next time when we're going to sort out some sort of way of making extra glass. Bye!